Hello. Well, we just got back. Here it is. Matthew 24, 12 says this. Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold. But he who stands firm to the end will be saved. Well, bless God, I'm going to stand firm and I'm not going to let any more unforgiveness in the name of Jesus. I'm not going to let any more unforgiveness keep me from walking in fellowship with the pastors and the people that I'm supposed to be connected with whom I have neglected. I, and and y'all know who you are whenever you watch this. God will quicken it to your heart. And the ones that I'm supposed to connect with who are watching this will have a desire to connect with me. When you see this YouTube, you just send a message on it. I'll get it. I'll read it. I'll respond back to you. And I'll thank God for it. <laughs> Amen. As a matter of fact, all of you need to pray that, that God used me to fulfill this call. And the ones that God has been drawn to me to, to walk this ministry out with me, come on. Come on, you're all needed and you will be loved. We're going to be ministering to the men, women, children coming off the streets, coming out of prison, etc. I'll tell you more about it later when I know that you're for real. Because <clears throat> the last thing I want is an offended person operating in the ministry with me. <laughs> like I was. I didn't even know how bad it was. You know, you don't know how bad it is till you smell your own crap. God let me get a whiff of my own crap. Amen. So, and it stank. I flushed it. Jesus calls false prophets wolves in sheep's clothing. But now, wait a minute, man. I was like, huh? huh? What? When I read that? I, it, it dawned on me. My lightning fast brain got it immediately. And I was like, ooh, Lord, I don't be no false prophet. Because if I'm walking around in offense, it's in the same scripture reference, man. So I'm looking at it like false prophet. Well, a false prophet, you ain't walking in love. You're, you're, you're putting up a front. You're putting up a front. You're putting up a facade. Because you're not being an imitator of God. Be ye therefore imitators of God as dear children. Ephesians 5.1 Well, God is. Not, it's not just what he does. God is love. 1 John chapter 4. I believe it's verse 16. It's, it's not just his nature. It's who he is. God is love. Praise the Lord. Where are we at there? And so we know and rely on the love that God has for us. God is love. Hallelujah. Whew. Glory be to God. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in him. Well, you can't be saying you're walking around in love holding unforgiveness toward me or any of your other brothers. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah. Okay, so that was 440, 359. Okay. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Here it is. All right. Matthew 7 15. They are self seeking men who give appearance of being Christians. Sheep's clothing. Jesus, man. Whew. But have the inward nature of a wolf. How 
how can that be when you're truly saved and, and, and you're, you love the Lord? You have to learn Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness, against spiritual wickedness in the heavenly places. Taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ, casting down imaginations, which exalt themselves against the knowledge of God. Well, you thinking that that brother or that sister didn't operate in love toward you. Well, the last thing you want to do, my brother or my sister, is retaliate with unloving toward them. You don't want to fall in this category. I don't want to fall in this category. Let's just say hell no and heaven yes. And the way to say heaven yes and get heaven yes, yes heaven, is to walk in love and obedience and get the unforgiveness and the bitterness out of your life. Say this prayer after me. Say, God, I ask you to deliver me from the sin of bitterness and unforgiveness. Help me to operate in your unconditional agape love. I cast my care and those brothers or sisters on you now, name them if you have to, and then you go and make repentance if God leads you to, to them. And let them know, you know, on your part. You don't have to let them know about uh, their part. Don't go say, I forgive you, brother or sister, for doing this to me. No, 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 stupid. You go and ask forgiveness for your sin toward them, and it'll melt their heart toward you and toward God. In the name of Jesus and by his blood. Come on, say amen. Amen. Wolves like to hang around sheep. They can be found in the congregation as well as the pulpit. Ooh, suck it. I seen, I think I done seen some of them in the pulpit. <laughs> Don't forget me. They are sent by the enemy to infiltrate and to deceive. They must be identified by their fruits, not by their teachings or prophecies. Huh? Often the teaching can appear sound, whereas the fruit in their lives. Look at some of these big Christians and see their lives. See how they're operating. See how the ministers are operating. Okay? You'll know which ones are real and which one ain't. The, the ones that are flopping around. They're on TV right now. Some of them. They, they have flopped. Lot. Now they can repent and get forgiveness and get it all straightened out. And I suggest we do the same. Amen.